Thanks for being here with us this morning. Um, before I start, this is about medium and high voltage circuit breaker testing, but I always like to make like to make a little distinction here between low voltage circuit breaker versus medium and high voltage circuit breaker. Uh, with low voltage circuit breakers, these are below a thousand volts, and uh, th they'll trip on their own when there is enough current put through. So the timing test is actually performed at, at real life currents, where you inject current through the machine, and it actually, depending on the, the type of test you're performing, it'll do a uh, electromagnetic trip or a uh, thermal trip, but it'll trip due to the current going through it. Medium and high voltage circuit breakers, on the other hand, these are breakers above 1,000 volts, and they can't trip on their own. They need to be told uh, from you know the protection circuit or whatever that they need to trip, and then you give uh, uh, some operating voltages, current flows through the, the trip or close coil, and this is what operates the breaker. So these are tested at, at low voltages, low currents, um, with a time and travel analyzer. So what we'll talk about first is the types of circuit breakers we can see out there. Um, and after that, we'll go on to, to time and travel analysis. But first, we'll talk about live tank and dead tank circuit breakers. And you'll notice uh, that both have very similar uh, insulated mediums. You can have vacuum in live tank, you have vacuum in dead tank. Uh, in live tank, you'll have something called a minimum oil circuit breaker, whereas dead tank, you'll have something called a bulk oil circuit breaker. Um, there's something over in the live tank called air blast that there's nothing analogous over in the dead tank circuit breakers. Um, but, but you'll both have SF6 circuit breakers and circuit switchers in live tank. And then you'll have dead tank, GIS, or hybrid uh, type circuit breakers over in the dead tank realm. So what do I mean by live tank and dead tank? Live tank circuit breakers means that the actual interrupter, that the tank housing the interrupter, is at line voltage. So you see up here that the, the switch or the circuit breaker, the interrupter, is inside here, and you got high voltage on both sides there. And during operation, this tank is at line voltage. Dead tank, on the other hand, is where the interrupter is in a tank that's grounded during service. So during service, you can come up, in, and I don't recommend just hanging around circuit breakers while they're in service, but you can theoretically come up, touch this, this is ground, and you're perfectly safe. So what do we have in, in, in different types of circuit breakers? One thing to, to be consider is the number of breaks per phase. You can actually have anywhere from one break per phase, and so a total of three breaks, one for each phase, up to 16 breaks per phase. So as the voltage increases, the number of breaks increase as well. As um, you'll get up, up to, uh, you know, maybe one or two breaks or one break from up to like 245 kV. And then as you get up to 362 kV and above, these, these numbers start increasing. And in some of the older breakers, uh, when you get up to the 765 kV, you could have up to 16 breaks per phase. Now, when I talk about breaks, these are the main contacts. You can also have a resistor in there. And so you could theoretically have 16 main contact breaks and 16 resistor breaks per phase. Now, a dead tank circuit breaker, from the field testing perspective, you only have one break for, uh, per phase. You go off, you just see the bushings and hook to both sides. But internally, these can actually have anywhere from one to, to about four breaks. Same thing with bulk oil circuit breakers. From a field testing perspective, they're one break per phase, but they can have multiple breaks inside. Live tank circuit breakers, on the other hand, from a, you get to see how many breaks they have right there in the field, and you can test each break individually and hook up to them. So here's an example. On the left, we have a dead tank circuit breaker. So you have your three phases, and the tanks are kind of hidden by the cabinet, but your three interrupters are there and that's one break per phase. On the right here, we have a live tank circuit breaker, and so now voltage comes in here, goes down, comes out here, and so this is live tank, but one break per phase. Then as we start getting into two breaks per phase, you'll see that in the field, these are all live tank circuit breakers. So this one, you have one interrupter here, another interrupter here, times one, two, three phases. Same thing here, one interrupter on one side, one interrupter on the other side. 